work is done. You have had the only warning I intend to give. Folks, welcome back to Magnus's Loot Crate. I am your host, as always, Magnus Deacon. Folks, if you've seen the wonderful little trailer I have for my channel, then you'll know that occasionally I will review a KO figure. Today is one of those days. Folks, here we have the Jinbao Deformation DF05 Destroy Emperor. Now, he is a KO. He's a KO of the New Age Agamemnon figures. So folks, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So folks, here is the clamshell for the Jinbao Deformation Destroy Emperor. I'll probably pull out some of these accessories and show them up close and personal and along the way in the turntable videos. But folks, that's everything he comes with. He comes with a lot of the standard Megatron fare, and as you can see, he does come with a flight stand, which, again, I'm going to probably be showing that off in one of the turntable videos. But folks, there he is. He's pretty decent looking Megatron as far as Megatron figures go. He's got plenty of stuff with him and he's actually decently reasonably priced I guess is the best way to put it. So folks, we're going to go ahead and crack him out of that clamshell and take a look at this figure. So folks, here he is on the turntable. Jinbao's Destroy Emperor. He is a pretty decent looking Megatron I will admit. I believe I've already said this, if I haven't already, I'm going to mention it a couple of times in this video, but he is sort of a slightly oversized KO of the New Age Agamemnon. There he is with his little Crimzeek buddy standing on the turntable with him. That is a tiny little figure, and I'll get up close and personal with him too. Don't you worry. But folks, there he is. He's, his his poseability is a little lacking, and I'm going to get into that a little bit here when I go up close and personal. But for right now, I, I do I do think he's a pretty good looking figure. He's decent he's decent enough as far as that goes. I mean, for a KO, that's what he is. I'm not going to lie to you. But folks, let's go ahead and switch him out and take a look at some of the other accessories. He does everything I touch. He's food for my hunger. So here he is with a couple of his other accessories, folks. This is him with his flight stand and his mace hand, which I hate to show it this way, but that seemed to be the only way that I could get it in his hand. Now, I didn't fully peruse all the accessories to see if there might be a fitting in there somewhere. I don't think there is, but that don't just absolutely take my word for that because he has a lot of accessories folks so just go ahead and peruse them if you get this guy go ahead and peruse those there may be a fitting in there that i kind of missed and just didn't know it was there but there he is folks he's got his mace in his hand and he's on his flight stand pretty decent looking i do have to admit so folks let's go ahead and take a look a little more up close and personal so folks now that you've seen destroy emperor on the turntable flight stand and one of his blast effects and his mace hand folks here's where we get up close and personal there he is this is Jin Bao's destroy emperor he is a somewhat oversized version of new age Agamemnon so he's a little bit bigger of course you may have noticed he does have this little red cap in the end. I don't know how it is in other countries, but in the United States, we have to have these on toy guns. But as you can see, it's not glued in. It's completely removable. So there that is. Now, one thing I have to say, folks, is it could just be my copy, but this leg is just, it's too loose for my, for my taste. But folks, he's not a bad bot. He is a pretty good little bot. I mean, I think they kind of missed out on some of the paint, some of the black paint around his eyes. 
But for what it is and how cheap it is, it's not that bad. Now, folks, I will say, it comes with quite a few little accessories in this bag. My favorite, by far, of his accessories has to be... I, folks, I have a Legend Scale Crimzeek. Little teeny guy, so now... I think Magic Square's Doomsday is coming with one, but I'm not totally sure. So here's a United States quarter, and folks, there he is. He, he's a little bastard. But folks, there he is. And he does have, now he does have the standard Megatron fare. He's got the little control helmet. Heat of Vector Sigma, the gun he kills Optimus Prime with. At least two spare faces. He has the little sword, you know, that he sliced up in his prime with, and all of his blast effects. Now, he also comes with two, the same two sets of hands that New Age Agamemnon does, the pointing fingers and the spread fingers. And, of course, the fist hands are already installed. So, folks, that's up close and personal with New Age Mega... Uh, see? It's his got me thinking about new age because he's a like i said he's a well, like i did say before he is somewhat oversized he's probably a, i think it was about a half inch taller and you know proportionally resized to go with it but folks there he is in his bot mode and up close and personal let's go ahead and transform him up and take a look at the gun mode decepticons transform transform so folks, here is Megatron in his classic gun mode. Now, I love this mode for Megatron. I mean, I know they had to turn him into a tank and other things for other movies, but this is the Megatron I remember. Fun fact, this Megatron mode was inspired by the man from UNCLE. I'll throw a little picture in there to show you, just to give you an idea. But folks, this is the Megatron we all remember. Now folks, I, I do know a lot of people are like, well, why the heck did he turn into a gun? I don't get it, blah, blah, blah. From what I understand about Megatron, he is a very powerful bot as is, but from what I understand, he was more powerful of a weapon in gun mode, which of course explains why Megatron, one, very rarely turned into a gun, and two, only transformed into a gun when he really wanted to inflict the damages. But folks, there he is in his gun mode. That is Jinbao's DF-05 Destroy Emperor. But folks, that was Jinbao's Destroy Emperor. Give you an idea of what he is, what he's like. You can get him at Show-Z store right now. He's a pretty good little figure, but eh, a little iffy on him. This is one you get if you just really want something, you know, an extra Megatron just to throw on the shelf just because. Or if you like him a little bit bigger than the other bots, you know, being that he's the bad guy and all. But folks, that's it for this uh, Magnus Salute Crate review, and I will see you next time. Has the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict? I have. Buy this figure and more at Showzy Store. Links in the description.